Let's begin with an overview of the autonomic nervous system. The physiological actions of the human body such as heart rate and blood pressure, as well as digestion, occur with little or no conscious thought. These involuntary actions maintain homeostasis in the body and are performed by the autonomic nervous system. The autonomic nervous system is made up of afferent and efferent neurons that connect the autonomic nervous system to visceral effector organs. The parasympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system. The parasympathetic division has the following cranial nerves associated with it. The ocular motor nerve, the facial nerve, the vagus nerve, the glossopharyngeal nerve, and the pelvic nerves. The autonomic nervous system includes all the nerves that innervate internal organs, blood vessels, and glands. And the parasympathetic division is active during periods of rest and digestion. The sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system. The sympathetic division includes sympathetic nerves that extend from ganglia, such as sympathetic chain ganglia, and regional ganglia such as celiac, superior mesenteric, and inferior mesenteric ganglion. The sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system is active during times of physical or mental stress. As the system's activity increases, skeletal muscle and heart rate are prepared for a fight or flight response. In addition to the parasympathetic and sympathetic divisions, the autonomic nervous system also includes the enteric division. The enteric division is located within the walls of the digestive tract. Sensory information is necessary for autonomic action. Sensory information enters the central nervous system for organs under the regulation of the autonomic nervous system. The sensory information is delivered into the CNS through primary sensory neurons. These neurons project onto second-order neurons in the brainstem region. The autonomic nervous system then generates a response based on the information received from the sensory branch. For example, low blood oxygen levels generate an increase in breathing rate. High blood pressure, a decreased heart rate. Food present in the stomach, an increased digestive enzyme and gastrointestinal tract action. Here's a clinical challenge exam question based on what you've learned so far in this tutorial. The key functions of the body such as heart rate and breathing are performed with innervation from the autonomic nervous system. Which of the following statements about the autonomic nervous system is correct? A. The autonomic nervous system is completely controlled at the conscious level. B. The parasympathetic division is also known as the fight or flight system. C. The sympathetic nervous system includes sympathetic chain ganglia. D. Cranial nerves play no role in the function of the autonomic nervous system. Or E. The actions and overall function of the autonomic nervous system require no sensory information or impulses. Here's the answer to the question. This question tests your knowledge of the different divisions of the autonomic nervous system. The correct answer for this question was C. The sympathetic nervous system includes sympathetic chain ganglia. The following is a clinical note on Raynaud's disease. Raynaud's disease is a disorder that typically affects young women. And in this disease, there's an excess transient sympathetic stimulation of small arteries in the hands or feet. When the affected body parts are exposed to cold temperatures, this leads to changes in skin color. Initially, the skin turns pale, then blue. As the blood flow returns to normal, the skin turns a fiery red. The majority of cases have no known cause. In some cases, it's associated with disorders such as scleroderma and polymyositis. The treatment includes avoiding cold triggers with the use of mittens, for example, quitting smoking, and decreasing caffeine intake. 
In some cases, a sympathectomy can be performed to cut the sympathetic innervation to the affected area.